England were four for 31 in their second innings. 51 runs in arrears, the Australians, and it's uh, responsibility falling again on Joe Root. So three 50s for the series. I'd love to make one big 100. Never made a 100 here in Australia. Beautiful stroke. That's class. All the skill of Joe Root on display early on day three. That's a lovely punch down the ground. No need to run. Ben Stokes, and he doesn't. Good signs for England. We talked about it's the best day to bat on. It looks a different colour. Looks a lot flatter. Ben Stokes, thank you very much. Take a picture. Yeah, this is more aggressive. Fantastic from Stokes. This is the cricketer that everyone knows and loves and embraces for the way he plays the game. Oh, Mitchell Stark. Just as they are asked a question, the Australians, they answer in emphatic fashion. Absolutely brilliant. Yeah, super stuff from Mitchell Stark. It was a good full-length delivery. A little bit of a nip back at us straight through the gate. That's an absolute ripper. That's a rip snorter from Mitchell Stark. The top of middle stump. That's a good cherry. Ben Stokes has gone for 11. And England in a bit of trouble at 5 for 46. That's a feature of his... Uh Quickening ability, his ability to pounce on anything that is loose from a ruthless bowling lineup. And it's straight out the textbook, isn't it? Divine. Uh oh. Oh no. No, 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 no. Oh. Can't, can't happen. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Challenging. Oh, I'm squirming in my chair. <laughs> Here he comes again, Boland. Oh. Jammed up best though for room. Green, who's done some stunning work in the gully in his short career, dived away. Beats him again. And he's given him. Bowling continuing on from last night's heroics. You'd expect a review. Impact is umpire's call. And yeah. hitting, hitting the wickets. Umpire's call. Paul, you're on screen now. Stay with your decision. 1.5 overs, 3 for 5, and a drop involved in that as well. Talk about MCG specialist Michael Hussey. Oh, and that was a good delivery. Edge taken! Bowling! Unbelievable! Knocks over the England skipper. Scotty Bowling is living out his dreams at the MCG. Well, the Ashes are well and truly in Australians' hands again. The skipper of England going for that drive. He's played it a few times today. He's just slightly shorter of uh, that half volley length. David Warner with no mistake. Boland now four wickets for five runs. Rear full toss from Green. Butler takes toll. Opens his account with the boundary. Boland's now one away from a Fifer here at the G. To Mark Wood, who's a fighter. Straight oh, to the ground, Scotty Boland has taken five. The man can do no wrong in front of his home crowd. 3.1 overs, five for five. Extraordinary. It's not a dream, Howie. It's actually happened. Unbelievable scenes here. Well, I mentioned it last night. It, it, it's just incredible. And look at the crowd. 32 years of age. Two weeks ago, I don't know, four or five days ago, did he think he'd play for Australia, get the baggy green on? Probably not. Well, he's got the baggy green on. He's now five for five at the G. And they're all on the feet for him. Well, I'll tell you what, just retire. Retire after the day's play by Scotty Ball. <laughs> this will not be so fast. Six for five. Ollie Robinson on this occasion, another good delivery. On and around the off stump. 
Again, the safe pair of hands, Labuschagne this time. The players will be so excited, they know they're one wicket away. One wicket away from the Ashes. <laughs> the smallest of thumbs up from the hometown hero. Well, there's times in your life that you just uh, probably don't realise at the time it won't ever get any better. And there's a sight, Ben Stokes, the lion heart of the England side. That tells you everything about this tour so far, that picture just there. scenes here at the MCG. Look at the jubilation of the Australian players. It's a mixture of experienced players that have been there a long time. Guys like David Warner and Mitchell Stark, Nathan Lyon, but there's a new brigade as well. Cameron Green getting the last wicket to secure the Ashes. Alex Carey, his first test series. And of course, the Victorian, the local boy, Scotty Boland. And Pat Cummins, he's going to be that lucky guy that gets those, that little urn in his hands. What a performance from Australia, just blown England away. England have just had no answers. Cameron Green, the special all-rounder in the making, and there's the moment. Oh, the crackerjack delivery. That's why you play the game right there, for that moment to win a big series like the Ashes. Pat Cummins, the Australian captain. He's done no wrong. He can do no wrong. No, it's an easy game. <laughs> Captain in an Ashes series, he's uh, a, an exceptional cricketer. Don't think it'll be the last time either. And these guys, this team, are now part of history. The Australians are trying to push him over. And he's a team man, though. He won't go. And his little teammate, Marcus Harris, saying, come on, Scotty, get over there. The people want to see you. Congratulations. You're an Ashes winning captain. They can never take that away from you. Congratulations. How does that feel? Thank you. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's pretty insane when you say it like that. Um, yeah, just a, an awesome few weeks. I'm so proud of, you know, the, the group here and just everything's clicked, everything's worked out. I'm so happy for Scotty in front of his home crowd today and just an amazing feeling.